morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday morning after my long, long seven day, 168 hour call shift. <laughs> I guess it wasn't one call shift, but you know what I mean. Seven days straight of call and somehow I did not get called in last night. So I actually got a nice bit of shut eye for once in the last seven days, which is fantastic. I am on OR float today. And what that means is basically I just float around and fill gaps between when there's open rooms that aren't covered by other fellows in our department and also go upstairs to the vascular OR and do some cases with them. So it's kind of nice not to have any assigned cases this week and I can kind of just float in the cases as I feel. And yeah, it's time to get some rest, get some work done and do some cases. Today is a good day because we got a nice figs box in the mail. So why don't we open it? All right, I think I know what this is. New Balance and Figs collaboration. They have a sneaker collaboration with New Balance, which is so sick and I'm super pumped to open this. So I'll give you the first glance. I'm not even gonna look at it here about this here. Let's try do this. Ooh, ooh, look how clean that is. These things are so, so, ooh, they got the white laces on the side. I think you guys have seen my other hospital shoe that has the red laces as well, so you know I like that. I may actually do, oh, look at this. You see that? Look how nice that is. I can't wait to wear these. I don't know, what do you think? Should I do white laces or red laces? Let me know in the comments below. I may do, what about this? What if I do one white lace, one red lace? Or is that crazy? Are people gonna think I'm like losing my mind if I do that? I might do that. Anyways, this is our unboxing for today. Let's get back to the video. So we finished the week out and I haven't vlogged in a long time, so I figured I'd pick up the camera and film a little bit. So we are out and about right now. Andrana is a block ahead of me because I got stuck out of the light. And we're just gonna run some errands today. Absolutely just relax for the weekend because after a long call week and a long week after that, it's nice to just relax and do our own thing for once. We were actually going to go visit my niece for the first time in Chicago this weekend, but we're not allowed to go anywhere in New York City because they've essentially restricted all travel for New Yorkers to like the hot spots. And Illinois happens to be a hot spot right now. So we can't go see anybody, which is awesome. So also my program and a lot of the hospitals around New York City won't allow the doctors and nurses and healthcare staff to actually travel outside of New York State unless they quarantine for two weeks when they get back, which I can't really quarantine for two weeks when, you know, I have a fellowship and I'm only here for a year. So if I have to quarantine for two weeks when I get back, it's probably gonna eat into some of my vacation time. And we don't want that because vacation is very limited. So I'm not gonna travel anywhere this week. Probably just stay here, hang out, run some errands, and call it a day or a weekend, whatever. And also the reason we are going to the post office right now is because my mom is a school teacher in, in Georgia and they started back everybody at school this past week and none of the kids are required to wear masks and they also don't provide masks to the teachers and they also don't provide like sanitation stuff like wipes cleansers all that stuff they don't give the teachers any of that stuff and they don't give them money to purchase it so basically everything they have to purchase is out of pocket so we are sending 
my mom some masks and some cleaning supplies because we have a ton of N95 masks just working in healthcare. So we're gonna do that so that she can be safe while she teaches the kids. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. Now, as you all know, I recently picked up a brand new laptop and updated my video editing software. And now I'm trying to up my game with edits and filmmaking. This is where Skillshare comes into play. I'm currently watching Filmmaking from Home by Penny Lane, and it's amazing. Literally in the first few videos, I've already learned how to sharpen my storytelling and better edit my videos. One of the best things about Skillshare is the ability to work at your own pace. You can advance through classes as quickly or slowly as you wish. When and how you learn is entirely up to you. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join similar creative communities, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first thousand people who click on the link in my description box to help you explore your creativity. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. And it's not just creative classes, by the way. They have something for everyone. Financial classes, marketing, and entrepreneur classes, just to name a few. There is something for everybody. So do yourself a favor and click the link in my description and sign up with Skillshare for two free months. Now, let's get back to the video. It's just so sad that all of these places are closing down in New York. I'll just show you all. As we walk down the block, there's like every small business is essentially closing their doors. It's like only the strong can survive. I honestly just don't know if New York City will ever be the same. What do you think? Look at this in your apartment building. Yeah, the apartments are going up, but the restaurants are closing. Oh look, there's another one. Oh my God, it's closed. I mean, we used to go here all the time. So I was walking to work yesterday, and I swear there were, what, 11 or 12? of the businesses on a one city block were closed and that's on Madison Avenue because people just can't afford the rent after being shut down for how many months now it's just not feasible not sustainable to operate a business when you're that much in debt so all these poor businesses who basically run on thin margins to begin with are now basically three plus months without any revenue and are expected to pay exorbitant rents per month without any foot traffic or any business. And yes, they have opened some of them, like have street side eating and whatnot, but that's just not enough. We need tourism, we need foot traffic, you just need all of the above. And also, I don't even know if this is sustainable for winter, so I'm really curious to see what happens in the winter months. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, so basically restaurants are only surviving by outdoor seating right now. So they're, they can't have anybody indoors. So what they do is they basically take up the whole street, essentially the parking lot or the parking side of the street and put a whole bunch of temporary tables out there every single day, which has gotta be a pain. But I wonder, because as soon as it gets cold out, so in the winter here, which can be very brutal, what is going to happen? So basically, we can't have people indoors and it's too cold to have people outdoors or it's snowing and cars are whizzing by, blasting water all over all the restaurant patrons. How are the restaurants going to sustain in Manhattan? And going forward, so, so for one, I don't know how they will sustain, but also a lot of the draw to this city is the restaurant and nightlife. People pay a premium to live in New York City so that they can experience this unique one-off nightlife or one-off restaurant experience and be able to go out to a bajillion different restaurants around the city. But if you can't do that, what really is the point of living in the city? Just to live in a small apartment and pay exorbitant rent and not be able to experience anything? So I don't know, these are all questions everybody's kind of asking themselves right now because New York City is in a weird transition period right now. So only time will tell. And don't worry, I'll report on how things are going in the fall slash winter time when it gets to it. But for now, we're going to just enjoy everything we can in the city right now, eat outside whenever we can, and play by air. Hey, hon. Coffee? Yeah. 
and we are officially in Queens. About to have a nice barbecue. That officially concludes this video. And Jonna? We'll see you on the next video. See ya.